Hello everyone, today I'm going to be talking about the books I'll be reading in March, or I plan to read in March anyway. There is one book in this TBR that I didn't get read last month, so you will recognise that. It was also in my January TBR, but let's not talk about that. I'm going to read it this month. This is the month I'm going to read this book. So without further ado, let's get started. The first book I'm going to be reading this month, and I promise I will read it this month, this is the month I'm going to read it. That is The Secret Keeper by Kate Morton. I will read this book. I just haven't had time to read it, but I will read it this month. It's happening. I've even got my bookmark in the book ready to read it. So it, this is going to be the first book I read this month, I promise. I will be able to review it in my wrap up at the end of March. It's going to happen. It needs to happen. So, if you've missed my January TBR or February TBR, this is about a girl called Laurel who, in 1961, yeah, witnesses a quite nasty crime, and this obviously plays on her mind a lot, and eventually in 2011, when she is quite a loved actress, she decides to go back to her family home and discover what actually happened the day of the crime unravel mysteries, that kind of thing, very Kate Morton-esque. I am super excited about this book and I have been for ages, I just haven't got around to reading it. So I will get around to reading it this month, I promise. See, I've promised now and I don't break promises so I need to read it. So yeah, that is the first book I am going to be reading this month. Another book I plan on reading this month is Girl Online on Tour by Zoe Sugg aka Zoella. I read Girl Online last year when it came out I thought it was alright, like it's not the most amazing written book ever, I am aware of that. But I just quite enjoyed the story. I don't know, I know not a lot of people did. Some people did, some people didn't and that's fine, you're allowed your opinions. I just quite liked a couple of the characters in the book and I really kind of want to read more about them. So I'm hoping they're going to be mentioned quite a bit in this book as well, but we'll see. So in Girl Online we are introduced to Penny who is a blogger and she also meets this guy called Noah and they end up getting close and things like that and then Penny finds out that Noah is actually a famous musician and obviously that kind of goes a bit crazy everyone online is like who is she and the, the usual stuff in the media and this book is about Penny's time on tour with Noah as she has actually gone on the road with him but she has to kind of balance her home life and her on the road life and it just gets a bit difficult by the sounds of it. She misses home but she wants to be on the road but she finds on the road difficult, that kind of thing. I'll find out more and I've read it, it shouldn't take me too long. I remember reading Girl Online in about two days maybe, maybe even one day, can't remember last yet. So it shouldn't take me too long, nice quick read. And yeah, I'll let you know what I think of it in my wrap up. Another book I plan on reading this month is To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. Also, R.I.P. Harper Lee, that was quite sad news. But I'm pretty sure you've written an amazing book. It is a very well-known book, so I'm just guessing you're an amazing writer. But anyway, To Kill a Mockingbird is about a girl called Scout, and it's about her life in school and when she's playing out on the streets and things like that with friends. And she also has a neighbour called Boo, I think it is. Is it Boo? Yeah. Also has a neighbour called Boo, and herself and her brother and her friend want to try and get Boo out of her house because she never comes out of her house. And her house is a bit creepy, mysterious, there's something not quite right there they don't think, so that's one part of the story. The next part of the story is that Scout's dad is a lawyer and he decides to defend a black man against an accusation from a white girl. This obviously causes quite a lot of chaos in his town. Bear in mind it's not set around this time. His whole town pretty much goes against him and it's Something about him coping with that, I'm not entirely sure the whole story, but prejudice, racism, that kind of thing. And I am really actually excited to read this one. I've heard nothing but amazing things about this one, so I want to make this a priority this month, hopefully. And the last book I have planned this month is To All The Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Hahn. This has obviously been going around booktube for a long, long time now, and I just never got around to reading it. But I thought, why not, let's give it a read. This is about a girl called Lara and she writes love letters to all the boys she's loved before. But these letters are just for her. They're not for anybody else to see. They're, you know, they're her private letters and she doesn't want anybody else to see them. But then one day all the letters get sent out. That's all I get from the synopsis. That's all I want to know, really. 
Sounds like a cute little contemporary. I'm all up for cute little contemporaries all the time. So yeah, that is the next book I have planned this month. And the final thing I need to do is go into my little TBR cup of rereads and find out what I'll be rereading this month. So let's go. Right. What am I going to be rereading this month? What is this? Right. Let's have a look. Oh, please be a good one. To be honest, I think pretty much all of these in here are good ones, so it's all good. Oh my god, that's amazing! Right. Oh, that was a bit of an exciting moment. I will be reading Shelter by Harlan Coben. This is Shelter up here. I am so excited to reread this and the reason is I remember reading this in sixth form and I was 20 minutes late for a media lesson because this got so good and I can't really remember that much about it anymore but I am so excited to reread it just because of that. I think it's about a guy, yeah, it's about a guy called Mickey Bolliter and his father's died. As well as that, his mother has gone into rehab and finally, his girlfriend has completely disappeared. He then meets a weird old woman who lives in a derelict house and he thinks that she's got all the answers to what he needs. That's all I can really remember, that's all I can remember from the synopsis as well. So, yeah, I'm really excited to reread this one. I am, oh, I am so excited about this one, that's amazing. So that's the final book I will be reading this month. That is it for this video, thank you all for watching. As always, all my social media links are down in the description. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you all in my next video very soon. Bye!